Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to design this logo showcase using a library called Glider.js. This is how it's gonna look. We can see that there are three logos over here and when we click on the next button or on the next dot, we can go to the next three logos or we can even drag and go to the other logos. So this is what we're gonna design in this video. So let's get started. I have opened a project called logo showcase over here in VS code and I also have a folder called images where I have all the logos and we are going to use this in our design. Alright so let's start by creating an HTML file so we'll just click on new file index.html and we'll also create a style file CSS file for writing the CSS. Let's start with the index.html file. We just type exclamation and press tab and we'll get this HTML file boilerplate code. We'll also link our CSS file over here. And uh, let's start with the markup. First of all, let's create a division with a class of logo showcase container. And in that we'll have divisions with class of logo and in that we will have the actual logo so we'll just type img and for the sources we'll just type images slash the first one is google so google.png let's just open this with live server and see how it looks so i have this extension called live server installed on vs code so i'll just uh, click on open with live server and we can see the google logo is being displayed over here let's just copy this and uh, paste it four more times And we'll just change the logos. So the second one is intel.png. Then we have facebook.png, Microsoft, and uh, NVIDIA. Now the next thing we'll do is uh, we'll go to the Glider.js homepage and uh, see how to implement this. Just search for Glider.js and uh, you'll find this page. I'll also leave the link of this page in the description below. All right, so let's go to the home page now let's go to demos and uh, this is the one that we're going to be using because this has multiple items on the single slide so we'll just copy this line of code from here and uh, we'll go to our uh, VS code and uh, just before the body ends I'll just create a script tag and I'll just paste this code over here now we have to make some changes over here as well but first of all let's copy the link of uh, the library in our HTML file. So we'll just google for glider.js cdn.js and we can see cdn.js.com and uh, just go to the website and here you can find the cdn of the javascript and the css. So let's copy the javascript from here and we'll paste it just before the script we'll just type script and we'll have a source attribute and we'll just copy the link over here next we'll copy the css link so just go to css and copy this link from here and uh, we'll go to the head and uh, here we'll just type link and uh, we'll just paste the link over here now to make this work we have to make some changes in our script so let's go to the script and here we can see we are creating a new glider object and we are selecting a division with the class of glider. So what we need to do over here is that we have to replace this with the container division of our slider. So if we scroll down we can see the container is called logo showcase container. So we'll just copy this from here and we'll paste it instead of glider. And we can see some changes in our web page. Now let's change the slides to show to 3 and we'll change this to 3 as well. So now we can see that only 3 logos are being shown. Now here we can see that for dots we have a division with a class of dots. So we have to create a division with a class of dots for the dots to work. Now we have to add the dots division inside the logo showcase container. But we can see that all the logos are here already. So we have to first of all cut all this and include this inside a parent container. 
So we'll just create a division with the class of logo showcase and we'll paste all our logos inside here and uh, then here we'll create a division with the class of dots and uh, we also have to change the container over here in the script so we'll just change this to logo showcase instead of logo showcase container now the last thing we need to do is we have to create the previous and the next buttons so for those we have the classes glider prev and glider next so let's go ahead and create those two divisions over here so he will just create a division with a class of glider prev and we have an image for the previous uh, arrow in our images folder so we'll just type img images slash and uh, the left arrow and then we'll create one more division with a class of glider next and we'll type img and in the source we'll just type images slash right arrow now we can see that the dots are also working so if you click on the second dot we go to the next logos we can even drag this now the next and the previous arrows are here but it is not styled properly so we have to style it using CSS but before that let's go ahead and create a heading so we'll go over here and uh, inside the logo showcase container we'll create a heading and uh, we'll give it a class of logo heading and we'll just type you are in good company all right that's it with our html now let's go to our css and uh, style this page so first of all we'll target the logo showcase container and uh, we'll give it a font family of roboto and we'll text align everything to the center we'll set a max width of 800 pixels and uh, we'll also give it a margin of 32 pixels top and bottom and auto for left and right so that it'll be in the center and we'll also give it a box shadow and uh, we'll set it to 0 4 pixels 12 pixels negative 4 pixels RGBA 0 0 0 and 0 0.4 now let's target the heading so we'll just type logo showcase container s2 and uh, we'll set the text transform to uppercase we'll set the font size to 32 pixels background color of dark gray and the color of the text to white we'll also give it a padding of 20 pixels alright now let's give a width to the images so we'll type logo showcase img and we'll set the width to 100 pixels and now we need to center these logos vertically so for that we'll just set the display of the logo division to flex so just type logo showcase dot logo and we'll set the display to flex and uh, we'll set align items to center and we'll also give it a padding of 32 pixels now lastly we'll style uh, the arrows so for the arrows we will set a position of absolute we want to set the position relative to the logo showcase container so for the logo showcase container we will set a position of relative and uh, now here we can type logo showcase container dot glider next and we'll also target the previous arrow so we'll just type logo showcase container and here we'll type glider prev and for both of these we will set position to absolute and the top position to 156 pixels and now for glider next and glider pre we will give separate left and right values so we'll type logo showcase container glider pre and uh, we'll set the left to 8 pixels and logo showcase container glider next and we'll set the right to 8 pixels All right so that's it with our styling in the next video i'll show you how to add this to your blogger and your wordpress websites so if you like this video please click on the like button and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day